Hello gentlemen, it's your boy, the top P in the building today. We're going to be talking about why women deserve less, why men that simp should be hung and mutilated in that order, and also why age is just a number. One second. Edit this part, okay. Hey babe, how you doing? Just um, about to record a little video for the, you know, fucking idiots. I didn't, I don't actually need you anyway, if, um, in case you didn't know. You are just a 304 that I could replace at any moment. Goodbye. Ah! Uh, sorry boys, uh, I'm gonna have to end the stream for tonight. Um, uh, nothing, nothing happened, don't worry. It's just, you know, some minor issues that I need to iron out. I'm gonna show her. I'm gonna fucking show her who she thinks she is. I'm the top P. The biggest cock and balls on YouTube. I'm gonna get so ripped. I'm gonna get so much fucking money, so much dosh. That this bitch is gonna regret it. She'd come back running to me. Fuck it. It's morbid time. Calado na solidão, guardo comigo a memória do seu vulto em vão. The villain era. What the fuck is a villain era? So let's discuss. Let's, you know, let's talk about it. Let's have a little one sided conversation. So if you have, you know, social media and you're a guy and you're into working out, you've probably come across this term and it's basically widely used by guys that are basically just tired of getting dumped on by life and are basically willing to join the dark side in order to get their revenge. And who exactly are they getting revenge on, you ask? Well, if it's not the guy that used to bully them in the school, then it's usually their ex, you know, the girl that broke their heart, tore it to pieces, threw it on the ground, stepped on it, smushed it, cream pad. I just got a text from my ex. But what is the whole villain era's MO? Like, what are they about? Well, according to Google, the villain era represents unleashing and embracing the less acceptable parts of yourself that go against typical social messaging and or people pleasing which I think basically boils down to flex on these bitches you know flex on the people that wanted to see you down flex on the people that didn't believe in you you know that whole typical kind of trope flexing on your hair yeah I'm flexing on my hair I'm just trying to flex on these hoes <laughs> But I can't. Now this is a message I could get behind. Personally, I do love to, you know, flex on these bitches every now and again. But I must ask, what does being a villain have to do with any of this really? Because I don't know about you, but for me, when I hear villain, I just think, oh snap, like, they're about to be doing some dastardly shit, some real villainous stuff. You know, maybe like, killing innocent people, massacring women and children, or just eating niggas alive. You thought I was killing you? Nah. But to be honest, it's kind of more just like, I'm just like totally done with like people pleasing Because to be honest, this whole villain era thing, it just reeks of young men being able to process their emotions in a healthy way You know the typical story, because in the old days, men of this age would just go to war and die And now, you know, there's no wars, so we kind of just go on TikTok instead And this whole inability for young men to you know, process their emotions. This has been about since the dawn of time. I don't think it's really going anywhere. So it seems like young men are basically resorting to, you know, shutting out the world. And instead of just going to the gym, listening to TikTok, funk, and then going home and crying. Well, I guess they are kind of living like a villain, but just one that's getting their ass beat by life. <laughs> young men fueled by rejection, insecurity, and body dysmorphia don't need to become villains. They need to heal. And this healing process is a long and arduous and unattractive process. So that is why most, you know, just decide to jump on this whole villain era shit and just push their problems, you know, back a couple years or whatever. Until they come back in a crazy spiral and lead to, you know, suicidal thoughts, that kind of shit. Because the healing process that they need to go through is not a glamorous one. 
It won't get many views, many clicks, many likes. And it's not as, you know, sexy or mysterious because it's vulnerable and open, just like your mum. And it involves forgiving yourself for your mistakes and others for theirs. Letting go of grudges, not holding so much hatred in your heart. Like looking inwards, like opening your theoretical butt, putting your head into it, looking around and really getting to know yourself. And just acknowledging that you don't know it all, neither do I. Like no one knows everything. So what I'm trying to say is this whole villain era shit is, it's just stupid. I think we all know it's stupid. I think even people that are making the villain era content know it's stupid. It's just kind of trendy right now, but yeah, I don't think it really helps anyone, does it? Because the truth is you're not a villain. You're just a bit lonely and you feel a bit isolated by society because no one talks to each other anymore. So you've had to like get used to being by yourself so much so that you've made being lonely and isolated your identity. When really, instead of being a villain, you should just be trying to, you know, write your own great heroic tale where you save yourself from a life of cringe. And just be open about, you know, learning more about yourself, learning more about the world, and trying to figure out where you fit in. And also this urge that, like, so many guys have that they need to be mysterious and, you know, they're so misunderstood and, you know, just no one understands me, man, you know. Your experiences realistically are not that different from the average person. I really doubt that you've experienced anything that no one else has experienced. Having this feeling where like you feel like no one understands you, this is just the fact that this just probably just shows you're inept at communicating with others. That is really it. If that's what being a villain means to you, basically just being unable to communicate with people and being lonely, then yeah, I guess you are a villain. And yeah, the only, only reason I'm able to talk about this is because I used to have, you know, this idea of basically embracing my loneliness and trying to frame it a different way. So instead of being like, oh, I'm, oh, it sucks that, you know, I feel lonely, I'd be like, well, you know, maybe, maybe I want to be alone, you know. Maybe no one deserves my, you know, my time and my friendship because I'm just so, you know, I'm just built different. I'm just, I'm just not like you guys. But it's just cope, isn't it? It's just a way of you coping with the fact that you're lonely. So get out of that mindset, go out there, do some shit, meet some people, and there, yeah, um, and your life will be probably be a lot better if you do that shit rather than trying to literally live up to animated characters and people that do not exist. And there's real people in the real world that are ready to, you know, meet you, welcome you in with, with arms, you know, arms wide open unless you stink, which probably a lot of you do. Please wash your armpits, guys, and wash behind your ears too. <laughs> and lastly, just remember, right bro, you don't matter that much. Like, this whole villain error shit is just like, you think, like, people care if you do well like you think you doing well is gonna spite someone up like realistically no one gives a shit like if you do well someone will just fucking double tap your picture on instagram or some, some shit leave a nice comment and be on with their life so yeah just remember you have no enemies my guy all right top peas out